Good morning everyone. It's Thursday morning and our psalm for the day is Psalm 9. Whose side are you on? Has anyone ever said that to you? Or maybe you've shouted it at someone else as if it really mattered. But does it really matter in the end? I'm reminded of a song written by, uh, by someone I knew about Jesus' parable of the mustard seed. Remember how Jesus used that picture to illustrate the unstoppable growth and spread of God's kingdom. The song had a chorus and it went like this. Whose side are you on? The losers or winners? Whose side are you on? The saints or the sinners? Or did you think you were just a spectator? Did you foolishly think you could leave it till later? Time is running out. You'd better decide to be on God's side. In many ways, that's the message of the psalm. King David praises the Lord for his wonderful deeds. Well, what are they? There's a lot here about how the Lord has turned back David's enemies by rebuking the nations and destroying the wicked. I think the scale is bigger than anything David experienced. It's a prophecy of what God will do for his Messiah. Do you remember that other verse quoted by Jesus in the Gospels? The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Jesus pointed out that David wasn't speaking of himself there, but of the Messiah. And the wonderful deeds on display here is that the Lord will not let mortals triumph, verse 19. He will let the nations know they are only mortal, verse 20. I guess we could be seeing a little bit of that even today. But right at the centre of the song, this song of 20 verses, there are these wonderful lines. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. So there are two sides in this song. There's the side of humanity or the nations in opposition to the Lord. And then there's the Lord's side. And those who take refuge in him and know his name. Whose side are you on? Does it matter? Yes, it does. For if we belong to the Lord and trust in Jesus the Messiah, we are inheriting this kingdom that cannot be shaken. So why not begin this day by singing those familiar words to yourself? from how firm a foundation, where God the Father promises in that last verse, the soul that on Jesus has leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul, though all hell should endeavour to shake, I'll never, no never, no never forsake. Let's continue to seek him today. Amen.